Hi besties, welcome back to the nail porn channel. It's your girl Kim again. Today I'm going to show you how I do my very own DIY press on nails. Nails that we often pay hundreds of dollars for and today you can do it yourself at home. I'm going to use gel polish to create some very intricate marbling designs and then dress it up with some jewels and crystals. If you haven't already done so, please like, share, and subscribe to my channel for more videos and tutorials. Love you! Bye! Hi guys! So I have decided to work on my very own DIY press on nails. Something that you can do at home too. I can throw these nails on or pop them off when I cannot make it to my nail tech. Or I can reuse these nails for a one day or a one night event out of town. Before we begin dressing up our very own press on nails, I strongly advise you to remove the shines from the nail tips. This allows any products to adhere better. I came across a few instances when I forgot to buff and my gel polish would peel from the nail tips just hours after I had applied them. In my video today, I chose some very vibrant gel polish from the Eora collection. You can find the names of these colors down below. You can also find these nail tips on Amazon. Search for full cover nail tips. For this nail art tutorial, I have decided to use three contrasting colors. Depending on your preference, I decided to go with my orange color as my base coat. Since 2020 had been a bit dull for me, I've decided to brighten up my days using these bold colors as part of my nail designs. I began with applying one coat of orange to all my press-on nails and then cured for 30 seconds. For my tutorial today, I will show you three different ways to achieve these intricate modeling techniques that seems almost effortless. When applying gel polish to these press-on nails, try your best to polish in thin coats so the finished product doesn't look thick, lumpy, or bulky. When working with clear tips, I often apply three thin layers of gel polish for a clean, finished look. For the first full cover modeling technique, you will need a nail art mixing palette, a gel brush or an ombre gel brush, and gel polish base coat. Before we begin, let's randomly line up all the colors on our mixing palette and set it aside. Next, I'm going to polish a layer of Cure Sky Ultimate Base Coat to one of the five cured orange nails and do not cure this layer. I'm using my ombre gel brush to scoop across and pick up all the colors on the palette. Starting at the top of the nail, lay the brush almost parallel to the surface of the nail tip and allow the paint to slowly transfer as you gradually move toward the bottom of the nail. Let's try to shake the hand a bit so the marble looks more realistic rather than forcing it to look like they belong there. Um, so when I do this marbling technique, I like to drink coffee so my hands are a little shakier, making this marble technique more effective. Huh, just kidding. I repeated the same routine until the whole nail is covered with my marble design. The base coat method allows the marble to distribute and levels evenly so the final result doesn't look lumpy. If you're happy with your marble nail, cure in your lamp for 60 seconds. While this nail is drying, let's dress up the next fingernail. I lined up a new pattern of colors on my mixing palette like the previous one and I set it aside. I'm going to apply another layer of orange gel polish to one of the remaining four nails. While the orange nail is still wet, I repeated the same scooping method but this time I dressed up my model in an S-shaped pattern. 
My model is primarily only covering the middle section of the nail, giving it a twist to the entire look. Try not to brush back and forth too much or apply too much pressure when using this technique. It could create a very unappealing, muddy look. I think this method is very easy and very quick to do once you get the hang of it. And don't forget to add a little shaky hand method while applying your marble. This will give life to your design. If you're satisfied with your design, set and cure your nail in the lamp for 60 seconds. For the last and final marbling look, I'm going to prepare another palette and set it aside. I'm going to apply another layer of orange gel polish to one of the remaining three nails and this time, I'm going to cure the orange nail in my lamp for 30 seconds. So for this method, we're going to work on a dry surface, while the previous two nails, they were marble on wet surface. Again, using the scooping method, I moved my brush across the nail in a horizontal pattern, only covering the middle section of the nail tip. The creativity is endless once you get the hang of it. I love this technique so much that I use it almost in every set of nails for my client. It's so fun for me as an artist and also so fun to wear. So the benefit of using the dry method is that you could use a dry gel brush to clean off any unwanted gel. The same method is applied when creating negative space. So I chose to finish up my nails with some matte top coat. Again, it is optional. You can go for the glossy finish, but for this look, I think I'm going to stick with the matte finish. What do you think of the nails so far? I think they look beautiful. So I'm going to add some final touch to these nails by adding some highlight, bringing it to life. I am going to use white gel paint and I'm going to manually paint a few white lines to give contrast to the marble. Of course, this is optional. I have seen social media nail artists get very creative. I have seen some nail artists using flakes to dress up the nails, while others use confetti to add in the extra glam. After matting up all my nails, using a striper brush from Gelish Harmony, my all-time favorite liner brush, I'm going to go in on these baby. Pay attention to how I load my brush. Line work could get very messy if you do not load your brush properly. Bake your brush in the gel paint and make sure you do not have any dripping paint. Your lines could get very thick and messy based on this very simple step. I often have to retrace my lines at least three times to get a nice and even line work. Sometimes, on a happy day, my line almost looked perfect in one try. I find myself holding my breath a lot when doing line work. I don't know if there is any connection, but I find that my hands are more steady and I have more balance when doing straight lines. I'm adding some minor details in the marble with my gel paint to give contrast to the design. This step is optional. I think with this special touch, the design will look more intricate and lively. I'm tracing along the existing veins from the marble. You don't want to add too many lines or create new lines. Make sure your line strength is balanced and cohesive with your marble. And don't forget to give a touch of that shaky hand. It will make a big difference. You can mix match your designs by adding flakes to some nails and adding line work to the other nails. Creativity is endless and the option is yours. Overall, I think these colors complement each other very well. If you do recreate my nails, please tag me on my social media platform. 
I would love to see your recreation. When creating these white highlights, the lines doesn't have to be perfect. In fact, it looks better when it isn't complete. Isn't marble super fancy? It's beautiful and this set of nails is very affordable. So much beauty, elegance, and class without having to cost a fortune. You can definitely do this at home. This marble technique is super easy to do and works well with any gel polish brand. So guys, please leave a comment below and let me know what you think of my technique. I would love to hear your thoughts. And also, please like my video and don't forget to share so we could all exchange nail ideas. So I'm going to finish up my set by adding some glam to these baby with some embellishments. If you want to see more on how I apply crystals and what products I use, don't forget to watch my video on how to bling like Cardi B nails. Let's put these nails on and get ready for a night out of town. I'm applying these impress on nails with some nail glue. After pushing back the cuticles, I applied a dot of nail glue on my natural nail and I waited a few seconds before I applied the impress on nails. When applying the nail tips, press down on the impress on nails and hold for a few seconds. And voila! They look beautiful. So guys, it's the end of my video. If you enjoyed this video and want to hear more from me, be sure to hit that subscribe button before you go.